Welcome to Anime Dudes, and today I'm going to be going over DC's newest animated feature on HBO Max, Injustice. There are going to be spoiler warnings ahead. Is this movie a conservative right-wing movie? I will get into those details here shortly. First off, I have no proof of this, but I feel like DC watched the superhero cartoon series Invincible on Amazon Prime and took some of their violence and added it to this movie. I've seen quite a bit of other DC animated movies, and none of them felt like they had quite the violence that this one does. The weight of the punches, the brutality, you can tell right away when the Flash gets totally wrecked at the beginning of this movie, this is going to be a little bit different. And I understand at the beginning of this movie as well why Superman is so angry. The Joker and Harley Quinn use Scarecrow's fear toxin against Superman. Superman shows up to confront Harley Quinn and the Joker only to be confronted by Doomsday. After taking on Doomsday head on and taking him into outer space, the toxin starts to wear off and it reveals that it is not Doomsday who he just took into outer space, it is his pregnant wife Lois Lane. Superman just killed Lois Lane and his unborn child. Then a bomb goes off, blowing up Lois Lane and his unborn child. Another bomb goes off, killing millions in Metropolis. For all the battles that Superman has been in, the Joker just took more from him than any other villain has ever done. The story already feels a little different than any other DC film that I can remember, but this is where it really starts to turn. Superman is pissed. He is going to confront the Joker who is locked up talking to Batman. The Green Lantern confronts Superman and tells him not to confront the Joker until he has had time to process everything. Superman takes the Green Lantern's ring and crushes it, easily getting by the Green Lantern. The Joker just wants to corrupt Superman. Batman claims that Superman will grieve, but will still be the best man he knows, but the Joker disagrees. Superman comes crashing through the walls, his eyes beaming red, and he punches right through Joker's chest while the Joker smiles and says, now that's a punchline. Superman realizes what he has done is wrong, you can see it in his eyes. Later on, Batman and Wonder Woman confront Superman, and this is where it starts to get political. I'm not sure if they intentionally do it or not, but it is very interesting to listen to. There is a very real world issue when the governments are given too much power, they tend to use it, and as history shows, governments with too much power tend to use it against their citizens. Whether we look at the millions of people that Mao killed when he was the leader of the People's Republic of China, or people like Joseph Stalin who ruled the Soviet Union, who was also responsible for millions of deaths. The thing is, in this debate between Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman, you can kind of see each side. Batman is saying that rules must be followed, Wonder Woman is saying the Joker needed to be taken out long ago, which there is definitely an argument to be made for that. Batman tells Superman he is going to throw everything away that the Justice League stands for. Superman has a press conference revealing his secret identity. He also says that if you basically are a criminal or a terrorist, you are not going to be allowed to roam free, which again, on the surface, is not a bad thing at all. It is actually a very virtuous thing. Superman also calls for a worldwide ceasefire, otherwise he will put a stop to it. And this is where the lines are starting to get blurry. This is a noble action, he claims no one has the right to take innocent lives, which again I agree with, but you start to get the feeling that one man is going to be judge, jury, and executioner at this point. Superman and Wonder Woman start to take action by taking out militaries that are in combat all over the globe, forcing nations into peace treaties, saying if they don't agree to these terms, they will be forced to agree. Batman and Wonder Woman are again debating. Batman says to Wonder Woman that the Justice League cannot be the world's police force. Wonder Woman does point out that Superman is currently saving lives, which is probably true. Batman points out if they continue down this path, they are going to go from policing, to occupying, to jailing, and to becoming tyrants are his exact words. Wonder Woman chimes back, or justice will be done. Aquaman asks Wonder Woman, so you and Superman will decide which laws to enforce? Wonder Woman responds, one law, to do what's right, which is obviously vague, which is possibly noble, but there is no way this can be measured. Wonder Woman claims Superman can make a perfect world. This is interesting to me, 
I believe that a lot of liberals believe that this world can one day be, be a utopia, but more right-leaning and conservatives typically are religious. Me being a Christian as well, have thought about this. I think this is a subconscious thing, but a lot of liberals want utopia on earth because they do not have a hope for a perfect heaven after death. They want to have heaven on earth now, but religious people realize that perfection on earth is literally impossible. No matter what system we have will be run by sinful people. Wonder Woman claims Superman can make a perfect world. Green Arrow asks, so now he's God? More questions are brought up. How will you punish people with whatever rules Superman has come up with? This character claims he needed many second chances to be where he is now. That's a whole other debate whether certain crimes are deserving of a second chance or not. Then it is pointed out that Superman and Wonder Woman would be deciding punishments. This is when the Justice League starts falling apart and Shazam, Green Lantern, who apparently got another ring by now, and Aquaman do not want to be a part of what Wonder Woman and Superman are doing and leave the Justice League. One of the next scenes is between Batman and Superman. Batman tells Superman that he needs to stop what he is doing. Superman says needs to stop what? Bringing dictators to justice? Batman tells Superman they can't decide who lives and who dies. That Superman killed a man. Superman claims it's just one death. Batman says it always starts with just one. Superman extends his hand to Batman saying he has an announcement to make at Gotham and that he wants Batman to be there with him. Batman denies his offer. They do show some of the good that Superman is doing. For example, North Korea is no longer a nuclear threat in this story because of Superman. Next news segment, they talk about how Wonder Woman has caused a couple hundred casualties. Later on, there is a confrontation between Batman's crew and Superman's crew, while Superman wants to take Arkham Asylum's inmates away to his own prison. Batman does not want to let him at one point, Superman gets angry and kills Solomon Grundy. Later on, Superman is having a debate, wanting to get rid of all of the guns on Earth. Here is where I'm even shocked that this movie goes to this place. The hero that Superman is talking to points out that if we are going to try to get rid of all firearms, then we also need to lock up anyone that is smoking, because smoking probably causes more fatalities than all firearms do. We should also lock up anybody that is speeding, or anyone with a dangerous dog unchained, or can't forget about this, anybody that doesn't recycle, we need to kill them as well. The character Superman is talking to says, even if we can doesn't mean we should, people would resent us. This is the point where my mind really started spinning, wondering if this movie is actually intentionally talking about conservative values, or if it was unintended. But in my mind, they were starting to shine through. There are a lot of events that I am leaving out of this, but this final event that I'm going to talk about takes Superman absolutely over the line into full-on totalitarian. This is where he stumbles upon a party, not just any party, but a party where people are dressed up like the Joker. He can't believe his eyes. He yells, are you gathering in his name? One character yells, Superman, fascist. Superman loses it, killing everyone in the building with his heat vision. Later on, Batman releases a video of Superman killing all of those innocent people. Wonder Woman sees this video. She is shocked. She has been right there by Superman's side this entire time. Wonder Woman asks Superman, you killed these children because they angered you? Superman responds, no, because a lesson had to be learned. I feel this movie does such a good job of gradually introducing Superman as a totalitarian dictator. You could argue that killing the Joker may have been the right decision, but he slowly starts slipping into becoming the world's police, dictating everybody's behavior, being judge, jury, and executioner. Superman determines what is right and what is wrong, and it doesn't all happen at once, it happens gradually over the course of the movie. There are good debates between Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, and other characters. You can actually see where Superman is coming from. He actually does do some good, but there is definitely a line, and Superman crosses that line to become a dictator. Later on in the movie, Superman does realize his faults, but it is too little too late. What do you think? Is this movie intentionally a conservative movie? Comment below. Let us know.
Don't forget to throw a giant heat beam at that like button and super punch that subscribe button. God bless.